Here, I will introduce how to use Bootstrap 4 tab set in Angular 8. As for how to set Bootstrap 4 for the project creation stage, please see how to set Bootstrap 4 environment in Angular 8, which I have already published. This time, we are going to download such a preset project from GitHub, and then proceed with incorporating tab set into it. For the content of the project, please see the full source code. First, download the full source code of the project incorporating Bootstrap 4 from the GitHub. The URL is https colon slash github.com slash old slash ng8 bootstrap 4 initial. When the page is displayed, click the green Chrome or download button on the right. Then the download address will be displayed. So click the copy icon on the right and copy the address. Open the command prompt, move to suitable directory and paste the copied address in that directory for in git chrome. Then the download will start. Next, enter the directory of the generated project. Start Visual Studio Code, type code dot. Once VS Code startup, press Ctrl plus backcode to open terminal window and type npmi to install the required libraries for the project. This process takes some time. Next, check if the project can be launched. Type NDS-O. The browser will open automatically with drop downs and drop ups. OK. At this stage, make a backup of the source before change. However, since it is not necessary to backup related libraries, we are going to extrude files under node underscore modules. Since I have already included guardfile.js for such backup. We are going to ex execute it. Type guard-m initial. The dash m option is the string to be added to the created project name. Next, Create a project for tabset testing. Type gap-m for tabset. Next, open the file explorer. Copy the created tabset test project together with the directory and paste it into the appropriate directory. and change the directory name to ng8 bootstrap full tabset.
Then open the command prompt and change to this directory. And type code dot to open VS Code. Once VS Code starts up, press Control back code key to open a terminal window. Next, we will change the contents of the project. First, change the project name. If you open package.json file, you can see the project name is ng8 bootstrap 4 initial. Change this to ng8 bootstrap 4 tabset. Click the search icon on the left to replace the source of the entire project. Next, there are Pascal cases, that is, those separated by character letters instead of dash. So, change large and g8 bootstrap 4 initial to large and g8 bootstrap 4 tabset. Next type npm i and install the library again. This process takes some time. A warning about vulnerability of the package is displayed here and we are going to fix the package. Type npm audit fix. Next again, type npm i to install the library again. The warning about package vulnerability has disappeared. OK. Also check if the project can be launched. Type ngs-o. The browser will open automatically with drop down and drop ups. Okay. Next, open NG Bootstrap site and browse to the tabset sample program. The URL is https colon slash slash bootstrap.github.io slash hash slash home Next, click on the down button and click on tab set from the menu on the left and global configuration of tabs is displayed We are going to import this setting First, click on the code button on the top right to display its source First. Copy the HTML sentence. Go back to VS Code. Open app.component.html file in source app. Paste the copied HTML here. Also, command out, pull down, and pull up related parts. Return to the browser and open the file of TypeScript. First of all, it is necessary to add an import part. Go back to VS Code and open app.component.ts file in source app. Paste the copied import part here. Go 
go back to your browser and copy providers perk. Return to VS Code. Open app.component.ts file and paste the providers part here. Return to the browser and copy the main part in the class. Return to VS Code. Open app.component.ts file and paste it here. Now go back to your browser and open http colon slash slash localhost colon 4200. Tab set is displayed. OK. In this view, tabs are displayed like normal buttons. So we are going to change the standard tab style. Return to VS Code. Open app.component.ts file. Change config.type equal tabs. Go back to browser and check the display. It became the standard tab style. OK. Next, since the tab is displayed in the center, we are going to make it less justified. Return to VS Code. Open app.component.ts file, change to config.justify equals start. Go back to the browser and check the display. Tabs are now rest justified. OK. Until now, tabs are displayed horizontally, but we are going to change this vertically. Return to VS Code, open app.component.ts file, and add config.orientation equal vertical. Return to the browser and check the display. The titles are now aligned vertically. OK. However, since it is a little bit difficult to understand the title, so change it to the button format. Return to VS Code. Open up the component.ts file. Change to config.type equal pills. Return to the browser and confirm the display. Okay. Thank you for your watching.